Hello wonderful people of Ash Class, I have got a story for you now and it's a really brilliant story. In fact, we'll be thinking about this story in our maths all of this week, so you might want to watch it before you do your maths. And it's a real classic, it's our corker of a story. I love it, it's by an author called Julia Donaldson and it's about a snail and a whale. There's lots of rhyming words in this book, so when you're listening to the book, see if you can hear and notice where the words rhyme. And something else you might just want to know for the story is it talks about the snail having an itchy foot. It doesn't really mean the snail had an itchy foot and it kept itching its foot. It doesn't really mean that. Sometimes we say an itchy foot means they want to travel. They're just itching to use their feet and to travel. And we all know that a snail has got one foot from our maths that we did about Noah's Ark, do you remember? So when we say that someone has itchy feet or an itchy foot, it means they're desperate to travel. So our snail in our story is desperate to travel and I wonder where it's going to go. Get, get yourselves comfy and cosy and ready for the snail and the whale. The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big grey-blue humpback whale. And this is a rock as black as soot and this is a snail with an itchy foot. And the sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed she sniffed and sighed, the sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. These are the other snails in the flock, who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Be still, don't wriggle, stay still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed and then cried, oh, I've got it. I'll hitch a lift. And this is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, lift wanted around the world. And this is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright, a humpback whale immensely long who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come with me. This is the sea, so wild and free, that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to towering icebergs and far-off lands. With fiery mountains and golden sands. And these are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. And these are the caves beneath the waves, where stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam around the whale and the snail on his tail. And this is the sky, so vast and high, Sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. And she gazed at the sky, the sea and the land, and the waves and the caves and the golden sand. And she gazed and she gazed, amazed by it all, and she said to the whale, I feel so small. But then came the day that the whale lost his way. And these are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, 
making him swim too close to the shore. And this is the tide slipping away. And this is the whale lying beached in the bay. Quick, off the sand, back to sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land. I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried, and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. And this is their teacher, holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board, as black as soot, and this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail! A snail! The teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail. A silvery trail saying, save the whale! These are the children running from school, fetching the fireman, digging a pool squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. And this is the tide coming into the bay and these are the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail travel safely away. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock. Who said how time's flown and haven't you grown and the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and how the snail so small and frail with her looping curling silvery trail saved the life of the humpback whale and the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue humpback whale. That is such a lovely story, isn't it? I love that one. I love how the snail shows courage. I love how the whale is caring for its friend. And I really like how all the other snails that were too scared to do things saw their friend being brave and then how to go themselves. That's so lovely. Right, I will see you very soon for another story. Bye bye.